Pollution, wars, corruption. The world is fucked up. So Diesel had the stupid idea to create a country like no other. A social experiment in a virtual space to discuss world issues. Welcome to Diesel Island, the land of the stupid and home of the brave. We announce the launch of Diesel Spring Summer 2011 collection by telling the story of Diesel Island, a paradise for anyone who's had enough of their own country. Spanning print, retail and online, the campaign kicked off with a catalog that told the story of how the island's pioneers created this new nation, followed by the History of Diesel Island video to support the story. But the real fun happened online. On the website, users could create their own laws, suggest not working holidays, and even become president for a day. The first time they arrived, they were given the status of illegal immigrant. By signing in via Facebook, settling on the island, and participating in the island's government, users were given the chance to improve this status to things like citizen or national treasure. Every piece of user-generated content went by absolutely unmoderated. In fact, users who became Diesel Island's president for a day were given full control of Diesel's Twitter account for 24 hours. Hey, at least it was a real democracy. Users who didn't want to build a nation could play with our catalog by navigating the island in Google Street View style, where we told the story of the island with full integration with e-commerce. Elsewhere, using our patented pirate radio station, users could enter the name of virtually any artist or song and use it as a soundtrack to their island experience. In the analog world, diesel stores were converted into embassies where consumers could collect real diesel island passports complete with full-body passport photos taken in-store or registered to attend embassy parties. This is Diesel Island today, but like any democracy, it has its flaws and it may change along with its people. Thanks for listening to this shit.